So I saw this story the other day, uh, once again, about Walmart. Uh, I think Walmart's a pretty easy target for people or whatever, but... Um, and some people might think they bring that on themselves for being so damn big and uh, having such low prices. And some would argue having such junky crap or whatever, but oh well. I, I buy food there, uh, among other things. But uh, if you haven't heard, there's a South Jersey Walmart the announcement came over the PA system. And it said, attention Walmart customers, all black people leave the store now. Now, when I first read that, I thought, first of all, I think it was like on CBS News' website, which I couldn't believe that a story like that would make the news, would make national news. But then I read the story and it turns out that there's like two women that were all outraged, that were in the store, uh, outraged by the announcement. And they said they're going to boycott the freaking Walmart. So I guess they listened to the guy. They're going to leave Walmart and leave or stay gone or whatever. First of all, anybody that really believes that, I mean, does anyone believe that in today's day and age that this, this would actually be a Walmart employee that got on and made the announcement? Would it, would it be seri a serious announcement that's made? to ask the black people to leave Walmart. If anybody believes or would have heard that announcement and said, oh, am I really supposed to leave? If they were black, they're freaking idiots. The, the women that they interviewed in the story that I read, uh, obviously, they're trying to make something out of nothing. What happened was, and the, it's funny, it's a funny enough, I mean, it's a prank. It was a practical joke. Now, there's going to be people, there, there could be people that are going to listen to what I'm saying and, and oh, that's not funny. Yes, it is. It is funny. The reason it's funny is because in 2010, we've gone so far beyond having something like this being taken serious. I mean, it's so absurd that I mean, the people that were white in the store, it's not like they're going, boy, I wonder if the black people are really having to leave. It's such an absurd premise that some business in the United States would really actually ask a certain group of people to leave. That's actually a good thing. If you can't see that, if you can't see it, you're not trying or you're just, you just want shit to be and that's the whole political correctness thing we're we're supposed to be concerned about this oh no it's still going on no it's not going on it was some stupid kid that knew how to what number to push on the phone to get the pa up and said that thought it was funny wanted to get a rise out of some people and apparently the person succeeded but it's just another example of how this is, again, in a protected group. What if I went into a buffet restaurant and somehow had a PA there or whatever, and I said, all fat people must leave. I mean, that would be funny too, but <clears throat> it would actually be a little more funny maybe. But, and I guess black, black, fat people probably aren't protected. I said before that only white people and... I think I've mentioned Christians. You could poke fun at them as a group. I think fat people actually w work for that too. So they're not a protected group. They're not, it's, it's politically, it's not politically incorrect to make fun of fat people. You can do that. Especially if they're white and Christian. Christian fat white guy. Boy, that would be uh, the worst guy to be. But anyway, uh, I think it's a stupid story it was a freaking harmless, yes, it, it was harmless, practical joke. Freaking Walmart doesn't need to apologize for this. Even though the manager got on right away and apologized for the announcement. That's all it should have gone to. Anyway, I'm out of here. Talk to you later. Now my freaking camera's not going to turn off because I got a warning up. It's because I have a text message. And...
Now I'm out of here.